sitting around watching Yankees Angels last night, <laughs> watching paint dry, and the Yankees <laughs> decide the brilliant. Uh, I was right around that deciding to brilliantly pitch to uh, Shohei Otani mm-hmm. uh, with a man on, and it's a two-run lead. Brilliant idea. My phone buzzes, and I look down. Who is it? Who, who's who's texting me? Me? Uh, nope, not you. Because <laughs> I did. Here we go. His name is Marshall Falk. I looked down. Here's a text. I actually screen grabbed it. He wrote, I'm calling into the show tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> to which you replied, right. yes. <laughs> yes. I'm calling into the show that's tomorrow. That's fantastic. He booked himself. And that's what happens when you're Marshall Falk. When you've got a gold jacket, you can do those well, things. Well, right? and you're also uh, somebody who pretty much knows intimately what's going on or potentially what's going on with the running back market in the National Football League. He's my Pro Football Hall of Fame BFF, Marshall Falk. How are you, Marshall? Rich, I want to say that I'm doing very well. But um, yesterday really put me in a somber, kind of irritated, more like pissed off mood. Um, this is this is egregious, man. It, it's like let's let's not even waste time. Let's just talk about it and, and to have a, a collection of guys make comments and um, you know it, it just it, it it baffles me. I just I, I really don't know what to say and that's a lie because i know what to say <laughs> um so let's say it what do you what's on your like seriously you know what is going on in your estimation marshall rich this is this is so there's a combination of two things and, and i want to give the one guy who started this i want to give him his his props but before i get to get to that let's just talk about where we're at in the, in the NFL, and they've made it to where if you don't have a quarterback and you don't pay in market value, your team is going to suck. You 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 can't. And I'm sorry if you're out there. You can't win with a Trent Dilfer. That's what they're saying. That that's that. Because you need an elite person passer at that position. All right, let's just stick with that. Now, where did that come from? It came from. Once the rules took the took the quarterback out of the game of contact football, um, you just throw you, you throw him down too hard. Not just hit him, but you throw him down too hard. That'll get you 15 yards. You touch him anywhere above the shoulder pads and below the thigh. That'll get you 15 yards. It's made it to where once you pay your quarterback that amount of money the refs is going to call the game accordingly. Like, that guy has to be a part of it. Now, I'm going to start with this. Saquon Barkley, if you watched the Giants play last year, you obviously saw who their offense went through. And I believe, and I'm going to say this, regardless of who was playing quarterback, that offense would have looked like that. And they refuse to just because market value. They refuse to pay the man. Well, then the question is, is and why? Minnesota, the question is, is why, Marshall? Like, why? Rich, Rich, why hold, are, on second, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yes, sir. And for Minnesota to continue to give this guy money who has disappointed them, and Dalvin Cook put up numbers. He has disappointed. He continuously cannot. I, 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 let me. I, I'm gonna ask this question because I don't know. I haven't paid attention to the North. I don't know if he's won the North. He just did last year, but other than that, it's been Rogers l- r- ruling the roost. Marshall. Now, I, I just it's it's it, 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 and here's why, Rich. Here's why. Whoever they this is the, this is the league. Whoever we can come up with a good case to pay less, we'll, we'll do it. And and it's, and they won't say they're colluding. Just all these teams decided we're just not going to pay the running back at the same time without talking to each other. There was no conversation. The only money, the only money that has went down from 2013 to now, the running back salary was, the, the, the number was 10.9 and now it's 10.1. The only, that's the only, inflation has worked against the running back. And as soon as we get to the damn playoffs, guess what we say you have to do? All these quarterbacks, guess what they have to do? They have to be able to run the ball. Makes no sense. Well, the thing – when you, when you, let me, ahead, l- l- right, So let me just 
hit a couple things here and, and, and get your two cents on the subject matter. Because you know how I feel about it. I'm with you. But the idea that the Patriots can win a Super Bowl with Sony Michelle, LeGarrette Blunt, Jonas Gray, the Chiefs can win a Super Bowl with Pacheco, Damian Williams. Brady can then win a Super Bowl with Tampa Bay with Ronald Jones. Um, they, that that uh, Peyton can win a Super Bowl with Ronnie Hillman. May he rest in peace. Um, that's the pushback here, is that you can go ahead and get a kid to win a Super Bowl out of college and run them and pay them far less than what the Giants are paying what Barkley wanted. And for some reason, Barkley's the one who's eaten that despite his incredible, immense value, as you pointed out. What, what's your response to that, 28? The, the caveat is, tell me those quarterbacks again. I think you said Peyton. I think you said Brady. And Mahomes. I think you said, Mahomes. Uh, Mahomes. Yes, those are The three. rest of these bums, they're not that. <laughs> they're not that. They are not that. And, and listen, Bill Belichick, I want to give Bill props. That's how he won a Super Bowl because Bill kind of created this. It's kind of like it's kind of like in, in basketball. Nobody wants to give Greg Popovich uh, the props for load management, and these guys not really playing. <laughs> Nobody wants to do that, and we got to give Bill Belichick props for eliminating the running back out of the game. This is literally this is and this is the my bad the franchise. You get three guys, you got one. And if you don't have that type of quarterback, Rich, you're asking a lot. You're asking a lot from your team. You're asking a lot. There's a lot of teams that's tried that model without those guys, and it hasn't happened. It just has not happened. Hall of Famer Marshall Falk here on the Rich Eisen Show. So what do you? What would you counsel Saquon to do, Josh Jacobs to do? It does appear, you know, Pollard already signed his tender. So um, he's going to play under that but what do you what do you counsel those guys to do right now Marshall Fall oh wait, wait as long as they can but eventually sign the tender get the 10 get the 10 million that's a lot of money to be passing up because here, here's here's what has happened mm -hmm. with Minnesota letting Dalvin Cook go Philly just not even I don't even think they offered miles uh, miles I, I don't think they offered miles um we see Nick Nick we judge coming up um Henry's coming up. Uh, Zeke sitting at home. You know Zeke sit, and you know Zeke sitting at home. About Kamara. Right. Yeah, Zeke sitting at home. You saw the deal that just went down at Cincinnati. Um, Rich, it's, it's um, they, they're they're going to they're going to and, and listen. It, once they do it with one position, just pay attention. They're going to start doing it with others. It's going to start happening. That's this. This is just where where we are going. Um, as as the as the the trends start to happen for the good, it'll start to happen for the bad. Like it's it's just that that's that's how it is. And right now, the position of running back, it's looked at as there's not there's no such thing as a franchise running back. There's there's no such thing anymore. What there's, about what about no, you you can. What about this, Marshall? Saquon sitting out week one just to show the world what it looks like without him and the Cowboys on Sunday Night Football. I mean, what about that idea, Marshall? Well, he, he, that's that's no surprise. See, see, Rich, Rich, you, you got to understand. Um, it's not it's not about everybody. Even the team, they know this. The Giants know this. But what the Giants have is they have what we all want in this world, which is leverage, all right? And when you have leverage, when you're talking to, and you understand that, all right, Saquon, if we do let you go, nobody's going to give up two first-round picks and pay you what you want. So you can't go anywhere. And guess what? Hey, now we have a reason to lose. Daniel Jones is going to look bad, but we have to pay him that money because the market said it. So as smart as these GMs are, when it comes to paying people, it's not about I'm paying him because I think he's great. They're only paying you when the market says pay you. They never overpay you when the mark, because you're great when the market says pay you this, but they will always try to underpay you what the market says. And that's it. 
So what's the fix here, Marshall? What there's, do you what do you think here? There's I mean, no, there's no fix. There isn't. There's I mean, no fix. The, the players' association. No, no you can't as, like the running backs have a zoom. Somebody, I don't know. Like, what's the fix? Rich, Rich, Rich. There, there's no fix. As a lot of these subpar quarterbacks are taking advantage of next man up market value. That's what that. This is what's going on. Next man up market value. When we were talking about Lamar, we was just saying next man up. You just got to pay him more. That, that's what it – and the, the the NFL is looking at, okay, where do we get our at? And they looked at the running back position. Uh, we got this position. It's it's just – that that's just how it is. This is big business, and I think we forget that sometimes. You, you know, for the, Tony Pollard has not showed me that he can carry the load by himself. Last year was the most he touched the ball, and he got hurt. And they still said, hey, Zeke, we got to get rid of you. Not not we got to give you less, but we got to get rid of you. Well, I Minnesota guess... didn't even have, they don't even know, they don't even know, Madison, they don't even know what he can do. <laughs> they just say, hey, Dalvin Cook, look, we're better without you. It's and ma- at no point in time did they, did they make that decision on their quarterback when he continuously disappoints them by not being able to win games as their quarterback when the ball is in his hand. So I guess you're not watching that Netflix documentary on Cousins right now, Marshall? <laughs> that's not a, that's not loaded up for you on your Netflix? Rich, queue? Rich listen, I've never, <laughs> there, there's never been a guy that's been more lucky to, to, to actually go to Washington, study under some guys, and, and, and you, you know the guys that was coaching him now because they all have head coaching jobs now. Mm-hmm. That got him ready. <laughs> Um, RG3, the way he played, they weren't ready for that. And if you look at the two coaches, that's head coaches, that's actually coaching really good right now, that was coaching underneath mm-hmm. when he was there. I mean, they all play with that those type of quarterbacks that, you know, you, you just want to drop back and throw the ball. But isn't it amazing, Marshall, no though? Isn't it, do with RG3. isn't it amazing, though, that Shanahan, Kyle, who you're referring to, um, and how, you know, no, 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 but Kyle, um, he decided with Lynch, we got to go get the guy at the running back position who's paid the most. We're going to get the guy who's making 16 million and put him in here. It's not like McCaffrey's still like languishing on Carolina and winding up like Dalvin Cook. The guy who runs an offense whose father might have, I know you, you were talking about Belichick creating how, you know, a running back room is is just as valuable as having one bell cow guy. But Shanahan, after TD, our guy TD stepped aside, started showing the Olandis Gary way of doing things. And I know I'm using that as a shorthand. But isn't it amazing that the son of Mike, he's the one who's like, yeah, let's get the guy who's paid $16 million for it instead of showing that we could do it with just anybody. They're putting the eggs in the guy's basket who makes the most. It's unbelievable. But, but let, let, let's say, b- because they understand what they have at the quarterback position, Rich, they do not have a guy that they can that they trust to throw it forty times a game, and win. Hmm. That's the that's the part. They don't have that guy. That that guy is not that guy is not showing up. They don't have him in house. Until they go get cousins, right, Marshall? So they, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lovely, Rich. That would be great. Oh my God! As a as a, as a Rams fan, I'd be, I begged him to. Dude, <laughs> please, dude, please. Uh... I would beg them. I'm talking beg. That would be like the biggest gift ever. So basically, Marshall Falk uh, here on the Rich Eisen show. So basically, you're saying as long as the quarterback system and paying these guys the way that they're paying them is the way this is and that the college game is being run the way that it's run and kids can be drafted like Pacheco out of Rutgers in the seventh round with somebody like Mahomes it doesn't matter that the running back market is going to be depressed for people like Saquon and Josh Jacobs who are on teams with quarterbacks that aren't Mahomes and aren't Brady and aren't Peyton Manning and things of that nature is that basically your your uh, analysis of what's happening, Marshall? Yep. yep, this is this is this is where we are going. Um I, I I think, Rich, I think 
in this in this new era with these quarterbacks and the young ones making money, I think Mahomes is the only one making big money like that that has won a Super Bowl. Once you give that quarterback that money, and we're going to see with Lamar, once you give him that kind of money and you start removing the pieces around him, I think I think it happened with Josh Allen. And some pieces started, they had to get rid of some pieces. And it, it becomes hard. It's hard. That's that's what everybody keeps saying about uh, Cincinnati. Well, Joe, Joe Burrow, he's still in his rookie deal. Wait till he get off his rookie deal. So everybody keeps saying, once you get him off the rookie deal, then what? You got to win. You got to win while they're on that rookie deal. We're weeks away from that happening. That's for sure. So um, I guess <laughs> because saying. these quarterbacks are unicorns in certain ways, right, Marshall? So somebody like Pete doing it the way that he's doing it in Seattle, um, you know, is that? Do you think something like that? would break through if a team in this copycat league wins like that. Um, who, who else could we point out um, right now that uh, that would be something similar uh, in that regard? The Steelers with a young quarterback in, in Pickett. I'm, I'm trying to find the spot that could break through that would make running backs, um, you know, like Kenneth Walker crucial. What? How about this? B. John Robinson and Jameer Gibbs, they're drafted in the top 12 uh, could they prove something about the running back market in a way for you? I, I, Although Jonathan I, I Taylor's not being really paid. Think so, Rich, yeah. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, because of the type of quarterback that's coming into the league and the quarterback runs that are a huge part of the league, I think we're going to get further away from it than closer. <laughs> like, understand what's happening. These quarterbacks that's coming in, all of these young guys, we don't we don't have just 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 pocket passers. All of these guys, they're coming from systems in college that have they they have designed anywhere from five to ten quarterback runs. So that's going to put you further away from needing to hand the ball to your to your running back. Like I don't think we're going. I don't think like this is like this is a problem that's been caused that I don't know if there's a remedy for it. Like I don't, I don't, and and, and and I'll be, I'll be even, even more honest. Please, because of, because of, because of, the the portal. Now, when you recruit running back, if a guy's a freshman, he think he should play, and you have a sophomore and a junior that's playing, mm-hmm. he's leaving. So now you have to play. I told you, I told you ten years ago, these running backs that are they're, they're splitting time in college. You got three guys running the ball in college. They come to the NFL. They don't have enough touches. And now you have this issue, right? Like you really don't have a bell cow, a guy that can tote the ball 25 times a game. If you didn't tote the ball 20 to 25 times a game in college, you're not coming in the NFL and doing it. It's just not happening. All right. So uh, last two before I let you go. Uh, any insight on Zeke and his strategy over the next few days and weeks that you're willing to share that you might know? Anything? Vet- veteran, know. Veter- veterans, veterans of his age, where he, did, where he is, they're, they're, not looking, they're not looking forward to camp. That's right. You know, it's like it's like, hey, getting the best shape you can, and you know, when the time is right, the team will call you and, and you go. That's so what I said. He did, like, why don't why, why, why any of these guys want to leave their their home and their and their personal training regimen to go sit in a, a dorm room with somebody with a crappy air right. conditioner? You know, for like free. that. Like, why would they want to do that? For free. You know. Yeah, remember for free, Rich. For free. For free. <laughs> All right, so so you think he'll wait till middle of August? Is that what you're saying? You think just to see what's up? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, that's, uh, listen, I, I I haven't spoken with him. Okay. I haven't spoken with Rocky about what their plan is. This is merely okay. what what Marshall Falk would do. Okay. Uh, if I was where he is in his career, okay. there's no reason for me to go to camp. And and you know, if if you're not the starter at this point, you're definitely uh, a backup. I would not. I would not have them. Me running with the twos or the threes against against the, the, the number two deep. No, I ain't doing that. And if no. Dallas calls again, would you say no. yes if the if the price is right, or that thing that that you door shut? What? Um, what do you think? I, I I for 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 me. And yes, this sir. Is just Understood. Me, for me, yes, if sir. I was him, yes. Regardless of the price, yes. Regardless of the price, I want I want to be in Dallas. Like I just like a lot of the moves that Dallas made. Okay this off season. And I, 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 I feel like where they're going actually fits Zeke more than yeah. where they were with Kellen. Okay. Like they're, they're, they're going to, 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 <laughs> so hold on, wait, you're going, 
you went to you got Schottenheimer that's going to help you do what he does best, which is run the shit out of the ball. I mean, this don't make sense. Yeah. And now you're getting rid of Zeke. You're going with a guy who is more of a Kellen guy that likes to needs the ball in space. I mean, man, Cowboys surprise me all the time. Okay. Uh, and then before I let you go, because uh, as you know, you know this show and the construct of it when you're either here with me or Sue's, so you know we're up against it. Do you want to sneak in one last slander of Kirk Cousins before you go, or what? <laughs> what do you got? I have no, hey, Kirk Cousins, this is not personal. This is not against you personally. This is just based on your body of work and the money that you've made, and we, we call that eat according to your work, you know, and, and you know, you, you, uh, you're, you're, you're obese. You've done a lot. I love you, Marshall Falk. I miss I you. Some playoff wins, Rich. I got you. Give me to the Super Bowl or something. I, that's all I need, man. Okay. Eighty-four million, guaranteed. <laughs> and I don't think he's won two, uh, three playoff games. I mean, that's a lot of money, man. I, I think you're uh, actually inflating it. I think you're actually inflating it. He won that one time in New Orleans. Remember that one? That playoff game, Kyle Rudolph, overtime. Okay. That, that, there's that I'm one. I'm trying to help him out, Rich. I'm I... trying to help him out. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Eighty-four million guaranteed. <laughs> it doesn't sound like you're helping. I'll be honest. <laughs> one, one and four in the playoffs. There you go. Oh God, Marshall. One and four. I love you, Marshall Falk. My whole entire family misses you. So let me know when you're up here in LA. And if not, I'm calling you. Okay. Got you, bro. Thanks again. All right. You got it. There you go, Marshall Falk. Have a good one. Who booked hey, himself buddy. on this show? That's great. Which he doesn't have to do. God, I love that guy. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free. 